FMG are specialists in providing rural insurance. We went out into the field to take a look at how they've been settling their insurance claims. As a mutual, FMG's clients are our members and so we're about long-term relationships with our clients. So when the Canterbury earthquake struck, it was about the welfare of our clients and getting people down to Canterbury as quickly as possible to identify vulnerable clients and to, to basically help all of our clients as much as much as we could. I am the Christchurch Earthquake Relationship Manager. Um, I have been dealing with the Christchurch Earthquake claims since the 4th of September earthquake. Um, I arrived in Christchurch on the Sunday the 5th as an assessor to assess the FMG earthquake claims. Um, my role changed after the February earthquake when um, FMG realised this was a major disaster and that we needed to um, have someone build the relationship between the client and FMG. The Canterbury earthquake definitely created a lot of challenges for us which a business as usual approach just wouldn't work. Uh, the first thing we needed to do was get people from throughout the country down to Canterbury to help our local staff who are already on the ground to start assessing damage to our clients' properties. The second thing that was really important was we set up a specialist project team to purely focus on the Canterbury earthquake claims. Basically um, my responsibility is I'm the advocate for our client, I'm there to help them, I'm there to listen to them. Um, work out what their needs are. Every claim is different, everybody has different circumstances, um, so my role is to be there for them. My name is Bill Lee, I've been farming here for 22 years and we run sheep and beef. Well I should say from the outset I've been a um, member of FMG for 30 or 40 years ago and I've never had anything but good service from FMG but Lynn's just part of the FMG team and it was brilliant. The September earthquake was mayhem really. Uh, we had, this old house had four big brick chimneys, all of which came down and sounded as if a, a jumbo jet was landing on the house, apart from the earthquake noise. And most of the damage emanated from that. I'm Roger Hardwick and we've been living in the area for, since the 80s. Uh, I'm Caroline Hardwick, um, haven't been living in the area quite as long as Roger, but um, for a fair amount of time too. After the earthquake, the liquefaction caused it to tip, which in turn um, caused the structure of the house to crack quite severely in some of its structural components. We um, realised very early in the piece that you have got to communicate with clients. That's what they want, is to be communicated to and know what's happening and when it's happening. So at a minimum, um, all the clients are contacted on a monthly basis. Now, sometimes it, it, it's not an easy conversation. You've got to ring up. Um, they're frustrated because they feel like nothing's happening. And in a month, not a lot may have happened. But it's a courtesy call is what I call it. And it's just a matter of ringing them. How are you? What's happening? What have you been up to? And they love it. They appreciate it. Lynn was actually the first assessor that FMG had sent to our farm to um, assess our house claim. Um, we were very impressed, she was there on the Sunday after that Saturday quake, which would have been a big thing for her to have to have travelled from the North Island down to a town that just literally been hit by an earthquake. So I dare say that would have been very hard for, um, as an assessor to get put into that situation. Um, but all the way through to the day we moved in, um, although Lynn's more based in the North Island, um, we used to get friendly phone calls of updating us how things were going. We weren't just a number, um, we are a family and um, they knew that um, a family needs to be at home and not living away from home, in our case living from, away from our home, our farm and our business. What the Canterbury earthquakes have made very apparent to us is that our rural clients face a very different set of challenges to those of our clients who live in the city. Basically our farming and growing clients, their, their home and their place of business are the same, same place and 
that has challenges within itself. Uh, there's no point that if our, our rural clients have damage to their home, necessarily finding them accommodation, temporary accommodation in the city. Um, and so we bring the accommodation to them, uh, for example, putting uh, caravans on, on their farm, which then enables them to continue their daily business with as little um, interruption as possible. We were grateful to the fact that we were in a two-storey house, uh, but post the East Coast, it wasn't our preference anymore, but um, FNG gave us the ability to go into a single-storey house which um, we could actually have some say of our layout, which was really good. Also, we had the opportunity to upgrade a few things to just make it our home rather than just a standard plan. The thing I liked most about it was she's prepared to give and take because we've got a replacement policy and if I had been nitpicky, we could have just reinstated all the brick chimneys, but it didn't make sense to us and it, when I talked through Lynn, it didn't make sense to her, so we just worked through on a very pragmatic basis to get a best outcome for all, for both parties really. FMG has been very flexible with the settling of our earthquake claims. We find out from the client what their expectations are. Do they want their house repaired? Do they want a cash settlement? What suits them? Um, and I meet with the clients and sit down and, and establish what they're um, looking at wanting. I then go back to our claims technical team and we work through, through what we are able to do for them. So there is not one set rule on how we settle the claims. We're very glad that we're with FMG because they understood that we did need to get home as soon as possible and they made as much effort as they could to get us home. Yeah, well I think the whole ethos is of, of a mutual is you sort of get the feeling the staff know that we're, we own part, we're part owners of the company and it's sort of a, it's a mutual feeling. Um, it's not a sort of a client customer, it's a I know it sounds a bit corny, but it's almost a family sort of thing. We're all in the same team. There's probably four key pieces of advice we would give rural New Zealand if they were ever to face an event similar to the Canterbury earthquakes. Firstly, you need to check your property. Unlike a homeowner in the city, farmers and growers have expansive properties with buildings on the back blocks, and so you really need to get out and check your entire property for damage. Secondly, you need to get your claim in as early as you can. The sooner we receive your claim, then the sooner we can get on and manage that claim. Thirdly, don't be afraid to make a claim. That's what you have insurance for. So even if you're unsure as to whether you have a claim or not, it pays to ring our claim centre and make that claim. Finally, it's really important that you ask questions just as you may ask advice for fertiliser on your farm, we're rural insurance advice specialists and so we're there to help you along the way with any questions you may have. Yeah, pretty happy to be back home. It's a great and warm new house. Yeah. He's pretty, pretty happy. They did a great job. Great. Oh, I wouldn't wish it on anyone for a start, but um, if you've got to go through um, a crap period like we did, I couldn't think of a better partner to do it with than FMG. After the break, Dion Swiggs from Rebuild Christchurch joins me to talk about our television programme Covered and his thoughts on the residential recovery programme.